Welcome to the rocket profile of the Long March 5, China's new heavy launcher. There have been a number of proposed variants for the Long March 5, but the version that will launch on its maiden flight will have four boosters, and each of these boosters will have two YF-100 engines, a rare case of boosters having more than one engine. The YF-100 burns kerosene and oxygen with a vacuum thrust around 1340 kilonewtons. The eight YF-100s on the boosters will combine to provide a sea level thrust of around 9600 kilonewtons. The specific impulse for the boosters is 300 seconds at sea level and 335 seconds in vacuum. Different sources provide different burn times, but it is somewhere between 2 minutes and 35 seconds and 2 minutes and 55 seconds. The core stage also has two engines, the YF-77s burning hydrogen and oxygen. They have a vacuum thrust of 700 kilonewtons each and burn for between 8 minutes and 20 seconds and 8 minutes and 40 seconds. Their sea level specific impulse is around 333 seconds and they get 430 seconds in vacuum. Overall, the design of the Long March 5 is reminiscent of the Ariane 6, except with liquid fuel boosters. In its maiden flight configuration, it is designed to put 14 tons on a geosynchronous transfer orbit and could launch 12 tons to a translunar injection. It is clearly a direct competitor of the Ariane 5 and 6 and similar rockets. The second stage consists of two YF-75D engines burning hydrogen and oxygen for between 10 and 13 minutes depending on the source. Each YF-75D provides 88.26 kN of thrust and they get 442 seconds specific impulse in vacuum. There is a proposed variant of the Long March 5 that lacks this second stage, which would be used to launch heavy payloads to low Earth orbit. There are also versions that only have two boosters, another version with only one engine per booster, and it's not clear which of these will actually see flight. A likely payload for the low Earth orbit heavy lift variant is the Tiangong-3, a 22-ton station core module for a future multi-module Chinese space station. That station will likely be constructed between 2020 and 2022. Lunar missions may also be in the works for this launcher, but it is not well equipped to launch a crewed mission to the moon. As of the recording of this video, if all goes well, the maiden flight of the Long March 5 will be on November 3rd, 2016, so we will get to see it operational soon. And on that note, thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Long March 5.